All right, folks, do not adjust your computer sets, smartphones, and whatever else. Do not blink too rapidly. Yes, what you're seeing is actual gameplay returning to my channel, at least for now. It's not like I have much else to do. So, I've been a, a fan of a video game that's been out there for a while known as Spin Tires. And it was all about driving vehicles in extreme rough terrain. Uh, and in the original Spin Tires, it was about logging. And then Spin Tires had a sequel that was Spin Tires Mud Runner. It was a little bit more extreme, more vehicles, more refined. Basically a better thing, but the same overall gameplay. Well, not too long ago, Spin Tires has come out with another spin-off, pun in uh, intended, called Snow Runner. And it's a much more redefined game, same basic elements, but it includes not just three zones, but each zone has four areas to it. And there are different missions for you to complete that are not just logging. And you start with some basic trucks, or if you get the DLC, you get a kind of a cheater truck, which let's be honest, I have. And, um... Well, there's just a hell of a lot to do. So I thought I would use this as kind of my background for blowing off some steam, trying to relax, talking in general for now. So I'm going to start up a new game here. I am using a controller. Uh, my my old reliable go-to that I've been using for years. This is a new one. This is a replacement. Uh, but it's still the old reliable Logitech GamePad F310. Now, this is the tutorial. Uh, you start out with this, a Chevy uh, CK1500. That's kind of rigged up for mud running. It's got some tires. It's a little lifted, but it's not much. It's a very basic truck. And the tutorials will pop up. I've already been through it. I'm sorry, the camera's just a little to the sensitive side. Uh, I've already released my handbrake, which you do with the R right bumper and so you hold down the left bumper press X to engage the all-wheel drive there you go if I want to I stop it I can hit X I can put it into low which will limit it to first gear and basically put it into a crawl gear which means I move no matter how hard I lay down on the throttle I'll be going very very slow the physics in this truck, again, I'm sorry about the camera, leave a little bit to be desired. And I also don't need low gear. I find a lot of this game you can do without low gear, at least in, in this area. This is the starting zone uh, for Michigan, by the way. I'll, I'll show you more as we go through. I'm just letting the tutorial go. I sh probably should have read the first two out, but whatever. Our goal here is to go to a watch point. You can see here on the map. Um, I am down here. I could like detour up to that watch point just so I don't have to come back and get it later, but I'd rather do that with a different vehicle. Uh, so we're headed to that watchtower. And of course, when you go to watchtowers, you, um, you open up areas of the map and you discover things. So we are on hard road right now, so if I wanted to, I can shut the four-wheel drive off. This is theoretically supposed to save fuel by doing that. Also, the steering in this game, on, at least on uh, high-speed, fast surfaces, tends to leave something to be desired. I hope the sound's not too loud. I got it down to 40%. I thought 35 was a little bit low, so hopefully I won't have to do this again. Now, if you wanted to, here... You can go down that road. It just uh, goes around here, and it comes out up and around here. But, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to engage our all-wheel drive. Now, you have to take this slowly, because I found out the hard way... I've been through a little bit of this game. That if you slam into this at full speed, you will damage your truck. So, we just carefully climb through. Going to leave the four-wheel drive on. We can fuel up here, uh, down this road. You can see the watchtower right there. So we're just going to 
Although, there are lots of tricks to this game, by the way, like this. Instead of just, like, slogging through the mud, I can go up on the shoulder and get around it. So I don't have to worry about it. And we get up to our watchtower and we reveal our map. Ta-da! Very easy. There you go. Good job. Discover the worst power. They reveal the maps. Need to repair a bridge, but I'll need a bigger vehicle to do that. So let's find a bigger vehicle. Oh, look! A bigger vehicle. Who'd have thought? All right. Again, I have it in um, automatic still. So I can just do reverse by doing the left and right triggers. Right is accelerate, left is reverse and brake. If I were to shift into low, that mechanic changes for reasons I don't quite understand. We'll just let it coast down this steep hill here. We'll slog through the mud, why not? I mean, that's kind of what this game's all about, right? Now, one of the tricks of this game is you don't just always floor it. As a matter of fact, I really don't need to put it in low to put it into a crawl gear if I don't want to, at least if I don't want to engage a differential for vehicles that have it. I can control, especially being on a, uh, an, uh, a controller, I can control the, the... I always do that, I'm sorry. I control the throttle very, very well. So, I can keep the engine at a lower speed, which is a lot of times what you want to do. Despite it being originally titled Spin Tires, and this is Spin Tire Snow Runner, you don't want to spin your tires, because the tires that are spinning are not gaining traction, they're just digging in. Up here, we will find our bigger truck. power up the hill and there she is yep all right so we want to press Y to bring up, uh, press up on the d-pad rather bring up uh, you want to stop the engine and engage the brake this way you guaranteed your truck doesn't roll anywhere especially if you're parked on the hill and a lot of trucks will continue running their engine even while they sit so it, it'll just eventually drain itself out and you don't want that to happen change truck and we change to our GMC fire up release the handbrake now this is a highway truck meaning it doesn't do great on um, rough to you know rough terrain and mud it can do okay it can do okay but you really don't want to get it into anything deep it will make this corner kind of you'll see what I mean Just control the throttle and you'll get through that corner just fine. You can see the tires. It's only um, rear wheel. I believe both rear sets of tires power this truck. It's not just the front axle or the rear axle. So that's good in its part, but it's still the tires on it are highway tires. They're not mud tires. They're not all terrains. At least I don't think they're all terrains. They might be all terrains, but that's still not very good. Anyways, just up here, we have our little town. I'm just going to cut this corner. Like I said, steering, particularly on the highway, steering in here is... Um, you more guide it than you steer it. You kind of nudge it in a direction and hope it goes that way. That's really what you're looking for. But it's still, it, it's very fun, especially if you're into games like Euro Trucker or American Trucker. This is a very fun game. Now, right here, if I had a crane, I could spawn stuff and load it. But I don't. So we're going to have to go the easy route and go to the auto loader. Now for the mission that we're going to start, which I actually need to go and start it, we need metal planks as our first load. Now what we could do, as you see here, 
we have to deliver metal planks and then deliver wooden planks times two. You can take two loads of wooden planks in a single truck. But the problem is... Um, did I accept the contract? No, I didn't. Okay, now I did. Yes, I know. Uh, well, if you saw there in the tutorial that I closed very quickly, it says you got to deliver the wooden planks, then you got to go back and you got to get the... Um, or you got to deliver the metal planks, go back, and get the wooden planks. But one of the things about Spin Tires, uh, the series, is finding creative ways um, to solve problems. And, and, and in a sense, kind of challenging yourself. It's one of the things I like about this game. It, 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 it can be about challenging yourself to make things even more difficult than they already are. Or to find new ways of doing things, or using new trucks. Like, you can use this, a, a huge, big, monstrous truck, which I'll show you when we get to the garage. Uh, at least a, uh, a picture of it. Um, how, you know, t to do a particular job. But you can come back later on, replay the game, and, and use a truck that's only kind of like just strong enough to handle stuff. And see if you can make it with that. If you can make it without using winches, which you'll see in a little bit. Every truck in this game, every truck in this game has at least two winches, one on the front, one on the back. There are some that will have them on the sides as well. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, I'm sure this would work really well in real life, jamming down this road like this with this <laughs> heavy load of uh, metal pipes in the back. Or metal planks, rather, whatever. Now, here is the lumber mill. Now... I gotta bring two loads of lumber, so I don't want to go all the way to the bridge and come back and have to load up another round of lumber in this truck and drive all the way back. But I'm just starting the game, so what do I do? Well, the game does hint you, and for those of you that are observant, you saw what the hint was when I pulled in. And it's right over there. Look at that! It's a trailer! And it has two loads of lumber in it. Oh, but wait a minute. What's this? Mud. A lot of deep mud. And this truck, especially with the planks in the back, won't handle mud very, very well. But, using a couple tricks, such as keeping the truck to the shoulder, and, getting just close enough to use our winch, close the HUD, we can pull the trailer to us. Pull the trailer all... This is actually the easiest way to line up hitching up a trailer as well. So we want to release that, because it'll pull it straight to your hitch. Now let's violently connect the trailer to the truck. Yep, that works. We control the throttle. Having the other drive tires up on the hard packed dirt on the side still gives us the traction we need to pull the trailer out. Ta da! Now we have everything we need to rebuild the bridge in a single cargo load. And it's really not that challenging to get back. I don't know why I wasn't quite getting traction there, but whatever, we've got it now. little water across the road. That's yeah, no big deal. Our truck's pretty big. As long as it's not too deep, we'll just plow right through it. And I'm sorry if my voice isn't coming through the greatest. Again, I'm, I'm using the microphone on my um, 
headset rather than my usual recording microphone. Um, just because, number one, I'm lazy. Number two, my new computer has a very limited number of slots for USB. It looks really cool, but it's not as practical as most cases, which I kind of regret. So I've, I actually had to get a USB expansion port. So that's a USB port that has four, that has, it's a device that has four USB ports on it that plug into a USB port. And you put low power draw USB devices on it. So I've got like uh, my gamepad on it. I've got my phone charging on it. And, you know, my phone connects to my computer through it. And I've got my headphones on continuous charge on it. So anyways, here's where we deliver the items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we unload. And there we go. We build the frame for the bridge. Okay, and then see, but it's not there. Portion of the cargo to build the site. You need to locate the lumber mill. Well, fortunately, I don't have to do that. We can just unload the wood. And there we go. I really don't need to access that right now. Don't need to do that right now either. Or don't need to do that. So now we go to our garage. And we will be taking the trailer with us. Supposedly in this game you can sell trailers. I, I, I know you can sell trucks. But supposedly you can sell trailers as well. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. There is a trailer store at your garage, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, up here there is some mud that this truck would struggle with. Again, we want to try to creatively solve that issue, even though it's a little rocky. I'm gonna put it in low gear. This is one of those times where it's actually better to try and stick with low gear. Uh, all right, I can't do that like this. All right, we'll cheat. Click. And we'll just pull ourselves over it. There we go. Is this where the mud is? Oh, this isn't even where the mud is. I'm getting ahead of myself. No, I was like, I don't remember the rocks, but I guess maybe I just don't remember them very well. Whatever, the mud's right up there. You can see it with the tree across. You know, could you just like... Yeah, thank you. Again, you can see the mud here. And yeah, I was to say, you can see where they clearly marked this path out. Around the tree. And around the mud. Now, yeah, the truck went slow through there, but had I gone through the mud, I wouldn't have made it through and I would have had to winch myself out. So it's being observant and coming up with creative solutions to your problems. I'm still slipping on some mud here, by the way. It's, it's still muddy, it's just not as deep. We'll be out of it in a minute. There we go. Now we're back on the highway. If you look over there, you'll see, there it is. We'll have to tow that truck out at some point. It's actually very easy to do, and I'll probably do in this video. Got a little bit more mud, but this isn't too bad. Yep, there's the farm. Just missed the rocks, that's good. Yeah, there, there's swampy terrain, muddy terrain, forest terrain, which is what we're on now. We're kind of on a forest terrain, you know, dirt, regular dirt road. Um, there is ice and snow. There's water. Um, all kinds of terrains and things to deal with. So it can be quite a lot of fun. And right up here is our garage. <laughs> Power slide the trailer just a little bit. Why not? Slow it down a little bit. I love that sound. It's 
a good diesel sound. Look, another truck. Now, if you look at this little area right in front, uh, yes, right here, see that? That's actually an upgrade, and we get it, and it's all-wheel drive powertrain, so you can upgrade uh, one of your trucks to all-wheel drive, which you will need. All right, uh, we need to detach our trailer and then uh, move into the garage. Now, one of the biggest mistakes you can make here, and uh, one thing I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to go into the settings. Um, oops, no, no, we don't want the gamma. No, we want the game. We want to skip the rest of the tutorial. Okay, we don't want the tutorial anymore. Not that I was using it anyways. All right, in here you have truck storage. One of the things you do, you don't want to do is go directly from your truck from here into another truck without storing your truck. If you do, I believe you lose your truck. I have not been able to find where the truck in the garage goes if you do not store it. And I have lost trucks doing this. So if you look down in the um, this area down here, you'll see um, select, global map, local map, and all that, you press X and you retain your truck. That means you put your truck into storage. Ta-da! Now my truck's in storage. Um, there's also the truck store where you can buy various trucks. There's the Chevy. Uh, there's um, a GMC Kodiak. I believe that's the one we can turn into an all-wheel drive. I don't know if the one that we have can be turned into an all-wheel drive. See, this one says all-wheel drive capable with a diff with an engageable differential lock. Then this is a highway, uh, so it doesn't have four-wheel drive. It's uh, a Ford cab over. And here we have, yeah, this one's just a highway, so it's not four-wheel drive capable. It is the GM. This is another one. It is an all-wheel drive capable uh, with a diff differential lock. This is the truck that's sitting outside, the Fleet Star. We'll get to that in just a minute. And then here's an international, which is a heavy duty, uh, another heavy duty, all all wheel. And then you got the, you know, these big monsters. All of these trucks are either the actual truck, like the international, um, like the Fleet Star, the GMCs, and the Ford. These are actual trucks. The the Russian trucks are based off actual trucks, but they weren't able to get licenses for them. They were able to get licenses for the American trucks, but not the the Russian or or whatever nation. I believe they're Russian, but whatever nation trucks. So look at this, this monster, the West Star 6900 Twin Steer. And then, of course, you have, uh, you got to explore the world to find these trucks. Uh, reach um, level 12, explore the world. Look at this Derry Longhorn. Look at that monster back there. There's off-road freight liners. Yeah, there's a Hummer. There's a Scout. I actually know where to get the Scout. There's another international cab over. It's a highway truck. Um, you see all these like really cool off-road trucks. Here's another West Star Heavy Duty. Then you start getting into the really interesting trucks. They're not available in the USA, which means you can't get them in the Michigan or Alaska maps. But you can see the, these are the really bizarre trucks. You know, at least most of them. I uh, will get to that. Look, look at this little off-road bugger. It, it just, just look at the. Just, I mean, I know you can't see them like really, really well, but you can still get a general idea. Of some of these vehicles you know some of them are real monsters so right now what I want to do oh, I'll go to the world map in a minute what I want to do is go to the Fleet Star now the Fleet Star has no gas and flat tires now what I could do is I could go into the place here and I could try and get my truck geared out with stuff, but I'm too low level. I can't put a, a, a repair station on the truck. I can't put a fuel citrine on the truck. I could go find them in the world if I really, really wanted to. But there's an easier way to do that. You pr oh, I keep doing it wrong. You press up, recover truck. 
Truck's in the garage, fully fueled, and repaired. That's the way you do it. Uh, so now we're going to switch back to our Chevy, which is sitting out here. It is our truck, so we do want it. I try to avoid uh, recalling if I can. I mean, only if I really get stuck do I really recall. Or if I just feel defeated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this watchtower. And then this watchtower with the Chevy. And then this watchtower on my way back to the garage. The Chevy will not be staying with us very long. It's going to complete these three missions and then that's kind of going to be it. And I'm not even sure if we can do these three uh, missions. I'm really not. And then we'll go more into the garage. And the maps. See, I don't know if it's really, really loud or not compared to my voice. I think I go... I mean, it looks like there's a watchtower up there, but... Oh, that's the watchtower I already unlocked. Okay. Pretty sure. Yes, that's the watchtower over here. Okay. 35 sounded good enough, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure how this is. But if if any of you are still my long-term fans that have been with me, oops. <laughs> well, that was just minor damage. Any of you have been fans with me for a long time, you know I I tend to do things by the hip. I don't prepare in advance. Uh, or do minimal uh, prepare in advance. I did do some adjustment to the volume to, to bring it down. I ho hopefully don't have to bring it down much more. Ah, we're, we're Baja now. <laughs> Oops. Don't do that. Water. Yes, we did have dangerous water levels to the point it would have damaged the engine, but I went through it fast enough that it didn't have a chance to damage the engine. Yes, you can damage the engine, the drivetrain, the suspension. You can run out of fuel or screw up your tires. You can do all of that. So. And if you heard that, that's my phone going off with a chat. I gotta check see what it says. Now, how do we get up? Uh, it's actually behind me. Okay. Yep, there it is right there. And there are day and night cycles. There's also rain. And I'm assuming in Alaska, snow. Assuming. I might want to go into low gear for this climb, but we'll see. This truck is fairly controllable for this game. It goes relatively straight. It drives pretty well as compared to what I normally use to complete some of the missions in here. One of them is those missions I will do. I saw that rock and I slowed down. Otherwise, that would have been some damage right there. I don't have a differential on this truck either, so that does make a difference in climbing and going through things. For those of you that don't know, differential locks help control the speed of your tires, I think, plus distributing power between them. I'm not 100% sure. I know that a diff lock helps. Like, uh, in my truck, I am headed to the right spot, right? Yeah, okay. In, in my truck, the last few vehicles I've owned, I, I, let me put it this way, three out of the last four vehicles I've owned have been four-wheel drive. And the differential lock is basically like putting the truck in a four-wheel drive low. It's just, it, 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 it helps bring out power, keeps things controlled. Gives you that much better pulling and digging and all that. All right, so, if I don't overturn the truck, here yeah, we just opened up the map over here. Not that there's a hell of a lot to discover. I've always wondered what happens if I if I drive back here. It looks like they tried to cut it off, but it looks like there may be a path right, right up here. Because I wonder if there's things to discover that's, like, not on the map, you know? I've never actually, like, looked into that. Oh, we got some mud here, boy. One of the tricks to help you get through the mud is to waggle your front tires. 
keep moving the front tires back and forth and it'll help like scoot you forward at times that's an, that can be an actual abuse of the game mechanic because you could be in mud where you're just supposed to be stuck and you'll waggle your tires and you'll just very 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 slowly bulldoze your way through I thought we were gonna get stuck there Yeah, we are stuck, stuck. All right. Let's grab the winch. I can't hook over there. Hooking over there might be dangerous. I might end up overturning the truck. We're also going to shift it to low. And we're just going to power our way up. There we go. Now we should be good. Or, you know, not. Well, maybe. No, the tree's not going to let us. All right winch. I use the um, the mouse to connect the winch. It's a little bit easier. Because when you do it the other ways, um, it tends to auto-connect to the closest source. And I, I don't know. I just have more issues with it. So, we're going to be heading downhill. I think I can get out of... Oops. I think I can get out of... Uh, wait a minute. Is downhill where I want to go? Stop. Let's engage the parking brake while I look. Um, I hit that watch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Downhill is where I want to go because I want to go back. Which means I actually have to go... I mean, I might be able to go over here, but I have to go down to the left and across the bridge. Okay. All right. Oh, parking brake on. Yeah, I have, like, tried to winch myself and whatnot with the parking brake on. Not be able to figure... And figuring, trying to figure out why the hell I can't move. Ooh. That's, that's, you know, I'd be okay if I went straight down, but I'm trying to stick with the road. Okay, we're, oop, bounce off that, we're good, we're good. Nobody panic. I'm going to avoid that mud, I'm going to go over here, and deal with the rocks, and whatnot. Yeah, this is much easier, you see how easy that is? See how easy that was to get through? Yep. Real easy. Oh yeah, you can overload anchor points too. Alright, now we need our next anchor point. Oh, way out there. And I should be in low. I always forget to close the, the HUD. That was a really good idea there. You can overload an anchor point and snap the, the point. You won't snap your line, you'll snap the anchor point. Right, I'll just drive around the stump. You can connect to stumps, fallen trees, uh, ant trees, telephone poles, out of low, you know, things like that. You can't connect to rocks or boulders for any reason, I can tell. So yeah, you can get into an area where you where you can't dig yourself out just being in the truck with a winch. Because as you saw that green area, the winch has a uh, a limited uh, a limited reach. Now in the heart, oof. Okay, that was a first. I haven't had that happen. On hard pack surfaces, like really hard packed, like roads, rocks, and whatnot. Uh, if you have a differential lock, how far up is it? Uh, okay. If you have a differential lock, you can damage your transmission by leaving the differential lock on. But the game does let you know when that's happening, as it will bring up your drive system, and it will start to change it I could plot the course out a little bit better if I wanted to. I just, like, don't. I think we go right here. It has to be, because it was the first turnoff I came to. I have a little bit more damage to the engine. It's fine. It's a Chevy. I think I can get out of this without using the winch. 
probably also be in low. You can see here, I can I can slowly inch the truck forward by doing this, but ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, I said it. What? So we'll just slowly pull ourselves out. There we go. Sometimes you really need to come off the throttle in order to make a turn. I'm looking around the truck, seeing what's around it. As well as trying to see where I'm going. I'm going to try and stick to the shoulder here a bit more. It should be a little bit easier to Should be a little bit easier to climb. I don't remember that being out in the middle of a swamp. That could be bad. I may not make that. My other truck that I have waiting in the garage uh, that you got a sneak peek of could make it. I don't know about this one. We're going to try, though. Try and get it. If not, then I'm just going to recall to the garage. This is going to be some pretty deep... There's not a lot here to winch myself on. And as you saw, these thin tires are not the best. Uh, I don't know if they're all-terrain or mud tires. I'm pretty sure they're all-terrains. Now you want to cross right here because you see the grass growing up from the area. So that means this is where it's best accessible. Actually, over there would have been better, but this is still okay. And, yeah, we're stuck. We're not going to get ourselves out of that. But fortunately, we're close enough that we can just cheat it and winch ourselves over. There we go. You see, we've also discovered a, a drowned highway truck. That's over here. That will also come at a later time. So what I want to do now is try and make my way out here, which is how I should have come in rather than what I did. So I'm going to make my way out here and then down. That's what I really want to do. Unfortunately, we're still kind of stuck. Um, yeah, could, could, oh, I'm still attached. Um... I don't know if there's somewhere else I can attach to other than Yeah, I think we I think we may have done what we can. Oops, sorry. Yeah, the cameras can be questionable. I can mean I can try and I would see that's just gonna do that. Yeah, I think we've gone as far as we can with this. So we are just gonna recall to the garage. But, I believe that is going to be it for this truck. For now, we're going to get it back later. But we need the money more than we need the truck. So, we are going to sell her. And that's why. Yes, the Con 39 Marshall with big old mud tires on them. And a snorkel already. So we want to make this our active truck. And we're going to do a little customization. We can't do a lot. Most things are locked up. See, this is the engine. We can make it a little bit better. Give it a much better power to weight. So we're going to do that. We're going to sell that engine. Oops. So, oh, yeah. I forgot. I got to back out. Gearbox, we can't change. Suspension, we can't change. Tires, there's really no difference other than the look of the tread. 
least I don't think there's a difference. I don't know if one's better than the other. We'll just stick with, with what's there. Can't change... Well, yeah, we could. A low-strength winch setup with dedicated battery unit. Not as powerful as more common variants, but can operate even when the vehicle's engine is turned off or stalled. Which is actually, like, really, really good. Because then you could try and flip yourself back over. Uh, which maybe is maybe something we really would want, but... Not right now. We will throw a spare wheel on here so we can fix tires. Uh, engageable differential lock. We don't have any frame add-ons, and it's already got a snorkel. Oops. Um, I did want to go over the miscellaneous. We're going to throw some wheel arches on it. Side thresholds. Um, I don't think we really need to change the bumper. We definitely need to change the front bumper. I like how the front... Look at the suspension. Look how the suspension actually dips down with that bigger bumper on it. Giving the, the weight of the bumper. And then we got the fine. And then we got the rims. Oh yeah. One more thing I forgot. We got a painter. So there's all kinds of different variants. and Oh, I didn't see that. So we're, we'll use that color. So, there we go. And we want to leave the garage. Ta-da! Now, what I'm going to do... I'm going to get rid of our points here for now. I'm going to go haul out this drowned scout truck so you can see this thing in action. Actually, I may go and pull out a couple trucks and then leave it at that for this episode. I don't know if I'll do more. I kind of want to. As a matter of fact, I may record another one right after this. Now, this thing... Yeah. Handling in this thing is... You know how I said you kind of, like, suggest where to go? You, you more point these things and kind of guide them? This is more like being strapped to a rocket, and your control is the tiller rudder off of a small sailboat. There are times, especially when, craw when like craw rock crawling and mud crawling, that I will put this in low just so I can keep it under control, even though it doesn't really need it. And yes, this is a cheater truck. I should not be able to do a couple of things I'm going to do uh, this early with this truck. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not worried about it. I've kind of gotten that. Another time I may do a playthrough without using the cheater truck from the, from the beginning. Because all you need to do is get to level 6 and unlock mud tires. And then you can do this. With the Chevy. Boing! See what I mean? Basically riding on balloons. Alright. So the all-wheel drive is always engaged. The differential can only be engaged in low gear. And I don't need to be in low in this, but I do want to be. It does make it a little bit easier to deal with. And for anyone who thinks that stuff like this doesn't happen, or there's not really places like this, I'd invite you up to Minnesota someday. After a nice big rainstorm. Let you see for yourself. Alright, in order to reverse while in low and wanting to keep the differential on, I actually have to shift into reverse. And I can't use the left mouse button to, or the left um, trigger to reverse. I still have to use the right one. So I'm going to bag up, back up to the truck, bag up to the truck, I'm back up to the truck. There we go. We actually have to accept the task. This is something a lot of people have issues with in this game at the beginning. They go in and say, oh, I'm supposed to do this. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go take care of that. You actually need to accept the task first. And then I can attach onto it. This is not a lot of room between me and the truck, but it really doesn't matter. I, I'm still in reverse. There we go. Now, when pulling other vehicles, they will engage their own engine and drive. If their engine is still running, if they still have fuel, and they're upright. 
they will engage their own uh, engine and their own drive, and they will help get you through areas. If the engine is damaged, that it can't start, if the vehicle is you know, completely drowned, um, then it won't, and you'll be full trying to pull it out. There should also be an option. I don't know if there is. In the other, in, in Mud Runner, there was an option to switch to pull mode. Which means that you could turn off the other vehicle. You could just say, no, I don't want the other vehicle to drive and follow me. Because that's the other thing the vehicle will do, too. It'll steer to follow you. Uh, you could say, no, I don't want the vehicle to steer. I don't want it to... Or if you want to tow a vehicle through deep water, if the vehicle was running, um, it would be damaged. There we go. If the vehicle was running, it would be damaged. And... Um, pulling it through deeper water. Like, your truck is tall enough to get through, but the other truck isn't. So the other truck gets damaged. Well, you could shut the other truck off so it's not running and pull it through the, um... Do I want to go in here? I think I want to go beyond the spruce and then to the truck. Beyond the spruce is actually a quest in this game. I I've done it already. I've done, I haven't done much. I've done a few things, but not much. And Beyond the Spruce is one of them. So I'm actually going to just drive through here into the swamp into the back. Yep, sorry dude. My fault. And you can see the truck in the back there. Yes, we are going to pull out that big monster with this. Do not underestimate this this vehicle. I know it's sitting on big tires, but if you can listen to it, it doesn't have the world's biggest motor. I need to get into the zone. I need to show task and accept before I start doing this. Alright, I'm gonna leave a little bit more room between me and the truck on this tow. So you see, starts engine, lights come on, and you can actually, if you look, you might see the tires are actually, like, spinning. You see the tires turned, it's actually steering. It's as if somebody's in the, in the truck, lending it what little bit power it can, because it doesn't really have traction. And steering, which makes it easier to pull to get it out of the swamp. Which is one of the reasons we're really able to do this. this uh, great, we're stuck. We, we shouldn't be for long. As long as we, like, kind of, like, go back and forth here, I think we can get her out. Yeah, see, she nudged a little bit. Alright, let's put her in low. Let's engage the differential locks. That'll help. Yeah, see? It's that tree that's stuck on it that's causing it, but we managed to power it through. I should have had it low and the differential locks on to begin with, let me be honest there. But in doing that, we were able to muscle her out. And this goes back to the farm as well. And then we'll go back to the garage, which I meant to do earlier, just to show you the map. Now we're really pulling on that. She's still getting no traction. She's really not going to have any until we get her up the hill more. There we go. Now she's free. Now we can go back in that. Our differential will automatically turn off. I mean, we could drive it back now if we wanted to. I'm sorry, that trailer freaks me out because it jumps every time you come by it like that. And then, one time it just vanished. It, it disappeared into the ground. Ah, that sign wasn't important, I'm sure. I mean, I don't know any cops that's going to come out here and enforce that speed limit. I 
that's play dirty on the front. I didn't see that before either. We just deliver this to the farm right here. And bam. Some more experience. Some more cash. Not a lot. And camera just Again, I'm sorry if the camera makes you feel queasy controlling it like that. I think for the sake of the video, I'm just going to recall to the garage. And, uh, and we want to go to the map here. And we want to go to the global map. Now here you can see we have where I am, which is Black River. And then there's Smith Dam, Island Lake, and uh, Drummond Island. Now, the only way to get to the Black River is through Smith Dam, or Smithfield Dam. But from Smithfield Dam, you can go to Drummond Island or Island Lake. And you can go to Drummond Island and Island Lake between the two. There is also Alaska, Northport, Mountain River, White Valley, and Pedro Bay. But this time, you can't get to White Valley through from Pedro Bay and reverse. Um, and of course, there's uh, Timir, which I believe is supposed to be the the European, Russian, whatever. There's the quarry. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that bottom one. And then the drowned lands. you got to love the sound of that. Um, there's only the three regions instead of the four. But... Uh, yeah, then you get all of that to deal with. So, yeah, there's a lot. You can get um, over here. You can't really see it, but this here, there's a tunnel, and that's how you get to the next area. Yeah, there's my one of my clocks going off. You can see there's the town storage. There's missing machinery. Um... Pinewood Express, there's a clock there, which means there's a timed event. Motel Woes, there's upgrades to gather. Over here is Fallen Power Line. I know there are other all kinds of things to do up in this area, like missing trailers and whatnot. Uh, Place Beyond the Spruce is actually a quest. And of course, there's all the um, watchtowers to get. There's my other clock. So there's a lot to do on each map. They've really, really expanded the gameplay quite a bit. You know, there's farming tools, power line, lumber mill revival, fuel order, work for old sweat. I mean, you get all this to do there, and then you get these to do, and then you get these to do. Those are already done, but you get these two to do. Um, so, and there's more than that, like I said, in the world itself. And that's not even including that there are other regions. And, uh, I don't know if, like, Dyson Diesel and the Husky Place are in different regions or if they're here. But, uh, I, or if they expand all of the regions. But let's say you've got this region, you've got three other regions here, four regions in Alaska, three regions in, um... Tamir, so all together, you're looking at 11 regions, uh, maps about this big. Uh, so that's quite a lot to go through and, and, and upgrade, and you got trucks that you can upgrade and whatnot. There is another truck I want, and it's out in this area, I think. So I have to go unlock that, but I'm going to try and do that on the next video. I'm also going to do a vlog to like update on things that have been going on with me, the way I feel about certain and current events and whatnot. So keep an eye out for that. It'll either be before or after this video. I mean, obviously, if it was before, you've already seen it. But other than that, folks, I'm going to be done on this particular video for now. This has been Spin Tire Snow Runner. It is, unfortunately, right now only available on the Epic Store. I love the game enough that I will swallow what disdain I have for the Epic Store and buy it. Um, no, I don't agree with Epic Store. I'm one of, one of the many people that just, I don't like the Epic Store uh, or, or their practices and whatnot. But, 
I'm not going to go into it. So I ended up getting snow tires, and I got the season pass, so I get all the DLC, all the updates, everything else. I do, I do like that. Um, I, that's the only transaction I truly find acceptable in games that sell for pretty much full price. Mud Runners is cheaper. Snow uh, Spin Tires is cheaper. Like, this is really a full-fledged game, so it does it does uh, warrant a, a a better price, I think. So this is something you may be seeing for a little bit because I really, really do enjoy playing it. It does give me a lot of frustrating moments. It's, it's easier than you think to get stuck and not be able to get out, or even to overturn your truck. So we'll see what happens. But until next time, folks, this will be one big bugger. I will be signing out. I'll see you then.